Hey girl. You've been having a rough day. So DMG, happy Mother's Day. Yes, oh, thank you. Sorry, girl. I be having so many messages from both pages that I don't begin to all my messages. But thank you so much. And if you have a child, I'm not sure, but happy Mother's Day. I just listened to your YouTube reading this morning and wonder if we can see if an old connection is coming back. Baby, book a personal reading and then you can see for sure if your person is coming back. And I'm running a special on personal readings. It's 50% cents off, fifty percent off for Mother's Day, okay? Use code MOTHER and then you will know if your person is coming back. Hey, Danielle. Hey, Carmen. Your readings are so helpful. Thank you. All right, let's see. Um, this is the only reader I tune into. I'd be hurt when I miss it all. Um, yes, I'm okay. Thank you. Um, speaking of personal readings, I booked, but can you squeeze me in early? I'll pay extra. Girl, I have, literally when I tell you, I have no space to squeeze anybody and I am overwhelmed with personal readings and spell work. Like, I have no extra time whatsoever, like none. And on top of that, my son go prom this week. So I am stretching myself thin, okay? Um, so yeah, for the next couple of weeks, I am book solid. All right, um, we gonna start with, he was right about fire signs. It was a true love story over here. Girl, I don't even know what I said. Oh, if you are a subscriber, I did the subscriber reading, but it keeps, Every time I try to post it, it keeps telling me the video is processing. I pray that it allows me to post it because it was kind of long. So I'm going to be mad if I have to re-record re it. So when I get off live, I'm going to try to post it again. Um, do what right, Shade? What the fuck is you talking about? Any other air sign find at 11 o'clock? <gasps> So fucking what? I'm so glad you said that, bitch. I really need the subscriber reading to post. I'm so glad you reminded me of that. Why the fuck I just did the subscriber reading? I was looking at the card and it had coffee on it. I was like, somebody gonna extra on a coffee date. I forgot I said that. And today is the motherfucking 13th. Oh my God, I need the subscriber reading to post. I need the subscriber reading to post. Did y'all go to a coffee shop today? Hey, L book. All right, come on. Start with the right element. First of all, every element is the right element. Um, somebody write air signs. It's gonna do it. I was tempted to go to Starbucks. I'm telling you, I can't wait to y'all hear the subscriber reading. I literally just said that. Whatever happened to Uncle? I don't know. I've been missing in action for a minute now. Maybe he got a girlfriend. All right, let's go. So I'm assuming we're just gonna do whatever come out. Hey, Mel. Right, I was gonna say we all the right elements, but especially air and fire. Not, but especially air and fire. But I would agree. <laughs> air is crazy. We ain't start with fire in a minute because I rarely ever start with fire. I don't ever care to start with fire and I'm a fire sign and I never like starting with fire. It's very rare I'm ever gonna start with fire. If I start with fire, 
I might be feeling really, really good, but I never hardly start with fire. Um, all right, let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for what is up with this pregnancy? Every single reading, all y'all always get the Empress. Y'all are starting off with the Empress, which is an amazing card to start off with. I'm just saying, because it's not all about just pregnancy. I book for next week for this special. Okay. So give me three more cards for air signs. What do air signs need to know? What do air signs need to know, Spirit? I got so much to tell you. Is it a good review from the spell work I did? Because if so, you know I need my review so I can post this thing. And I appreciate you. Give me two more cards for air signs. What do air signs need to know? Carmen by Yes, I was in today. Yes, I love my spell work review. Come on, let's let's keep them coming. All right, anywho. <sighs> some of y'all, okay, listen. Some of y'all gonna get pregnant or y'all may already be pregnant. But y'all are struggling to make a decision or you will be struggling to make a decision whether y'all gonna keep the baby or not. I'm just saying. Some of y'all might be like, I don't know if I could do this or I don't know if we, me and this person can have a child together. I, you just don't know because I feel like some of y'all may be in a toxic connection with somebody. Um, now, this is not everybody's story, of course. Not everybody is going to get pregnant. But for some of you, y'all are going to have to make a decision about keeping a baby or terminating a pregnancy, okay? Um... For others of you, there is something that you are planning for your future. Something about your career that y'all going to have to make a decision about. Okay? Um, but I feel like it's something good. It's something good. Some of y'all may be ready to travel. Some of y'all may be ready to start a new job or um, birth a new business. Now, when it comes to love, air signs... I keep getting asked about a baby, my fam, friends, and men. I hate when people do ask women, like, when are you getting pregnant? I think that is so rude because what if you are, what if you can't conceive? Like, I hate when people ask a woman, like, when you're going to get pregnant. I just think it's the most disrespectful thing you can ask a woman. But anywho, um, when it comes to love, somebody really does think highly of you. Somebody holds you on a pedestal. Somebody sees you as marriage material. Um... Somebody thinks about getting you pregnant, but this person could, for some of you, like I said, it's not all of you. It's so many different storylines that's coming up. Um, what if you don't want to be here? Exactly. That's why I think that is real when people ask that question to women. Um, <clears throat> some Somebody may have you in a third party situation and they're struggling to make a decision between you and someone else. Um, and with the star card, the thing is, whoever this person is sees a future with you. They're hopeful. They see you as somebody that they want around for the long term. They feel like, like if you if you two are not together, they feel like y'all will reconcile one day. And I feel like they watch you a lot on social media. Um, if you are single, you may have a decision to make between two people. And one of them people are going to be somebody that's fucking toxic. Somebody that... Um, I better be the godmother. Somebody that, if y'all don't stop making me lose my train of thought. <laughs> um, oh, this is somebody that you can't resist. This is somebody who y'all may be both borderline obsessed with each other. Tell me about the empress. Why is the empress here? Tell me about the empress. Will of Fortune. I'm telling y'all, y'all got something really good coming to you, especially in career, but love too. Um, something that's going to happen in divine time and just be patient. Don't trust the process, okay? Trust the process. Um, somebody feels like you're their soulmate. Like say if you're in a relationship with somebody now or you're dating somebody or I don't know. 
there is somebody that feels like, okay, this is going to be the person I build with. This is going to be the person I have a family with. Um, I'm just leaving it up to God. Like, yeah, maybe right now they can't commit to you, but they feel very optimistic that one day, like, yeah, this y'all going to settle down with one another. Um, they feel like God placed you in their life for a reason at the right time as well. It's really giving soulmate energy. Tell me about the two of wands. Why is the two of wands here? Molly will tell me she's in love with me. Oh, two of wands is clarified by, hey, Larissa, two of wands is clarified by the three of cups in reverse. Um, three of cups in reverse. Somebody could be breaking up with somebody or somebody is resisting reconnecting with someone right now. Like somebody has to make a decision whether or not they're just going to let something go all together or um, if you're going to reconnect with somebody. I'm telling y'all, many of y'all are going to have two people to choose from. If it's not you, then it's your person. Tell, tell me about the star card. Or, and if it's not love, some of y'all may have a decision to sever ties with like a business partnership or something like that. Like it may be somebody that you decide like, I don't want to go in business with them or I don't want to be in business with them anymore. Tell me about the star card. Why is the star card here? Tell me about the star card. Star card is clarified by the six of swords in reverse. Somebody from your past wants another chance. Somebody feels like y'all have unfinished business. And this is what I mean with the star card. Like somebody is hopeful. They see a future. But the star card also represents healing. So this person may be healing from some shit before they can come back and offer you something. This is somewhat of yesterday's reading was saying, well, this is confirmation because the reading shouldn't change that much. Tell me about the devil card. Why is the devil card here? Tell me about the devil card. Two of swords. Somebody has a difficult decision to make and this is some toxic ass person. Um. Shawty, if I get married to my ex, I'm inviting you to the wedding. Y'all are crazy. Um, yeah, somebody has a difficult decision to make whether or not y'all going to take somebody that's very toxic back in your life. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can't help y'all. Y'all y'all going to have to make that decision because y'all know this person is toxic as fuck or got some fucking issues that they got to sort through. When are you going to go live again for subscribers? Girl, I don't know. I just did y'all a video. I'm trying to get it posted. Tell me about the Will of Fortune. Why is the Will of Fortune here? Knight of Swords. Yeah, somebody is rushing in to have a conversation with you, but it could potentially lead to an argument. Somebody could be a bookworm. Like, either you or your person may love to read. Somebody could have, like, a unicorn tatted on them. I don't know. But some of y'all need to get more serious about your ambitions, though. Some of y'all really need to pour a lot into your career because I feel like many of you are ready to birth something that's going to be very successful. Tell me about the three of cups. Remember, some of y'all don't need to reconnect with somebody from your past. And I meant to say that. But yeah, some of y'all do not need to reconnect with somebody from your past. And that's not for everybody. But some of y'all know that you do not need to reconnect with this person. Tell me about the Three of Cups in Reverse. Why is the Three of Cups in Reverse here? I have a little pony tatted on me. Strength in Reverse. I told y'all, y'all find it very hard to resist somebody. It's like, y'all know that y'all should not... Um, I sent you a DM regarding my reading I purchase. Okay. Um, y'all know that... y'all, The person y'all know that y'all really should not reconnect with... Y'all know that y'all find it hard to resist them. Y'all find it hard to hold back from them. Um, y'all don't have no strength when it comes to this person. Y'all lose all fucking common sense. So let's just say for some of you, if y'all are locked in with somebody, do not let this past person ruin what you have going on, okay? Do not let them that ruin what you have going on. Some of y'all might need to block this person if you have somebody else that you really like. Tell me about the Six of Swords in Reverse. Why is the Six of Swords in Reverse here? Tell 
tell me about the Six of Swords in Reverse. Six of Pentacles. Somebody want to start giving more to this connection. Because at first, I feel like at one point in time, they were either breadcrumbing you or giving to someone else. Now they're saying, like, it's unfinished business between us. I miss you. I want to start giving to you. I want to spoil you. I want to do this. I want to do that. Well, why the fuck you ain't doing that first then, huh? No, we did the next seven days yesterday. That's already been posted on YouTube. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? Tell me about the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? Two of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Some of y'all do not need to rush to make a decision regarding taking this person back. Some of y'all need to take y'all time and really think about what you're doing, okay? Get some rest, okay? Heal, because some of y'all still feel heartbroken. And this is the time you need to be taking some time to yourself. Do some self-reflection, meditate, hibernate, get your mind right. Do not rush with making a decision because they ain't never rushed giving you no fucking commitment. So why do you need a rush to take them back? Make their ass wait like they be making you wait. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, Spirit. Chariot, somebody coming in fast. Somebody is coming in fast. You're going to hear from somebody very soon. Some of y'all might be ready to buy a new car. Somebody may be ready to go on a little road trip. But somebody is determined to try to overcome whatever obstacles is standing in the way of y'all connecting with each other. Tell me about the strength in reverse. Why is the strength in reverse here? I really feel like some of y'all can't find the strength to hold back from this person. Fucking weakening in these ass hoes. Higher fit in the Queen of Swords. This is your energy. Some of y'all gonna really make the decision to break up with somebody, divorce somebody, cut somebody off or something like that because Queen of Swords can represent divorce. Queen of Swords will cut out what no longer serves her. She is a no-nonsense type of woman. Like I said, this is y'all energy. So some of y'all may finally try to find the strength to set boundaries and cut out what no longer serves you. Or y'all gonna give somebody an ultimatum. Like, listen... Either we're going to be in a committed relationship or we, or I got to let this go because I want commitment. I want to be married one day. I want a family one day. I don't have time to keep doing this back and forth. I don't have time to keep playing this dumbass game with you. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Knight of Wands. I'm telling you, somebody is rushing in. And this is probably somebody that y'all have really great sex with. <laughs> um, but like once again, some of y'all could be ready to travel as well. This person could be a hoe too. Just keep that in mind. And I did say some of y'all don't need to reconnect with this person. So we're talking about the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Why is the Knight of Pentacles and the Four of Swords? High Priestess, yeah, it's telling you gotta use your intuition when it comes to this person. Like use your fucking intuition. Spirit, tell me about the higher fin and the queen of swords. Why is the higher? Magician in reverse. Somebody is doing spell work. <laughs> and it might be y'all. Some of y'all might be doing spell work on this person. And if, and if it's not y'all, then they doing spell work on you. But somebody is doing spell work. I'm telling you. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Some of y'all doing spell work. Let me see something. Tell me about the magician in reverse. Why is the magician in reverse here? But I feel like somebody is divinely protected. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, some of y'all doing <laughs> some of y'all doing spell work to have a new beginning with somebody. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, y'all look. Some of y'all could work with this person, but. 
Some of y'all was only in a friends with benefits situation, but this person is going to tell you they want to reconnect with you. But let's take it slow. Tell me about the high priestess. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Wands. Hmm. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. You have got the Queen of Swords and King of Swords. Somebody getting a divorce, though. I really feel like somebody breaking up. So maybe some of y'all doing spell work to make somebody break up with somebody. Like, and I'm not going to lie. Because I'm a little behind in them third-party removal spells. Because <laughs> there's so many of y'all that booked them bitches. I'm not joking. So I think I'm picking up on a lot of y'all energy. A lot of y'all, I'm, I'm so serious. And I'm not trying to call nobody else. So I'm not putting y'all name out there. But a lot of y'all book third-party removal spells. And when I say I'm behind in getting that shit done because there's so many of them. Um, and I feel like for most of y'all, it's going to work. Somebody is breaking up or getting a divorce. I'm not joking. Mm. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> so what is the final likely outcome for air signs? Final likely outcome for air signs. I can't make this up. Justice card. Somebody is breaking up or getting a divorce. And I feel like this person is going to come back and try to balance the scales with you and make things right. Tell me about the Justice card. Why is the Justice card here? Tower. There's about to be a sudden change, a sudden shakeup. Tell me about the Tower. Why is the Tower here? Tell me about the Tower. And a Nine of Cups try to come out, which represents a wish fulfillment. Page of Cups. Some of y'all gonna receive a message from somebody. Spirit, tell me more about this tower. Why is this tower here? King of Cups, somebody has a lot of love for you. A lot of love. Like, they're never going to stop loving you. Whoever this person is that loves y'all unconditionally, they're going to reach out to y'all. Or if y'all are in a relationship with somebody, maybe y'all did, like, maybe a love binding spell or some type of spell to bring y'all closer. Um, And I feel like that's going to happen. Tell me about the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Tell me about the King of Cups. Seven of Swords. I feel like this person tried to hold back or hide how they really feel about you, but the truth is they can, they'll never stop fucking loving you, like, ever. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Queen of Cups. Y'all got the King of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Swords, Queen of Swords. Whoever this person is that y'all are dealing with, I feel like they're your divine counterpart. The feelings are mutual. The emotions are mutual. Like, y'all might end up being with this person. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Some of y'all might already be in a relationship and y'all relationship gonna grow stronger. Yeah, oh my God. Sun card, three of ones, page of ones. First of all, y'all are doing spell work. <laughs> Or somebody doing spell work on y'all. I don't fucking know. But listen, whatever y'all manifesting or conjuring up, it's coming in with that three of wands. It's coming in. Somebody coming back to y'all or your relationship is growing stronger, whatever. Y'all gonna be fucking. Y'all gonna, some of y'all gonna receive a booty call tax. Um, sun card, the most positive and happiest card in the deck. Y'all got a lot of positive changes coming in. I'm telling you, a lot of positive changes coming in. Some of y'all are going to get pregnant. I'm letting y'all know right now. And remember, I started the reading off with um, somebody is going to have to make a decision whether they're going to keep a baby or abort the mission. But I'm telling you right now, y'all going to get y'all wish fulfillment. If y'all manifesting a stronger connection with somebody or a relationship with somebody or for somebody to leave somebody else and come to you, whatever the fuck y'all manifesting or whatever type of spell work y'all doing, it's going to go in your favor. I'm telling you, air signs. Like, y'all have a lot of good things coming in for y'all. Business, love, no matter how y'all go about getting it. <laughs> Woo! Some of y'all
y'all are dealing with another air sign or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But y'all got some good shit coming in. Y'all just like, you know what? I had to take shit in my own hands and get this ball rolling. All right, that's what I have for y'all. Fire signs up next. That was actually a good reading, which y'all sneaky ass is. I love me some air signs, but I swear, I think y'all are sneaky as fuck. <laughs> I think y'all are sneaky as fuck. Yes, is you crack me? No, for real. Thank you, K Rose, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. Private girl, I don't like. Is that what we calling it these days? I'm happy you made my live too, Ebony. We're going to have a really good reading today. I feel it in my bones. I didn't do spell work, but he probably is because sir has been blocked and ignored. At least you're going to admit y'all sneaky. What's your sign, girl? I'm the best sign in a zodiac. <laughs> My sign is the ruler of the zodiac. Let's, and don't nobody tell her. See if you can figure out what it is. My sign actually rules the zodiac. My sign rules the heart. Yes, 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 yes. Girl, no. Aquarius do not rule no damn zodiac. <laughs> Aquarius is definitely does not rule the heart. Air signs is never gonna rule the heart. Air signs is fucking air. It's cold. I've been doing spell work and I'm a cancer and he is a Gemini. <laughs> it's nothing like a Leo. Queen of the jungle. Lion. You said you never date no crazy again. Are you a Leo for real? August 13th, okay, gang gang. never date a leo again but it depends on their birthday because girl i don't think yours is a real leo i think yours is a cancer leo so that don't count you gotta experience a real leo that mid august to end of august that's a different type of that's a different type of love bitch me and your son got the same birthday that is my birthday Oh, yes, I'm going places in life. Yes, I is going places in life. I ain't making excuses. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm going places in life. Leos are sneaky. I think Leos are sneaky because Leos going to tell on themselves willingly. <laughs> I know I will. I be like, look, I got to tell you something because I can't keep this shit in. <laughs> I'm telling you, mid and end of August Leos are different. I just feel like we are, we could be savages when we want to in our mouth. Like, we don't give a fuck. Like, sometimes I feel like we are brutally honest to a fault sometimes. 
I do not feel like Leos are sneaky. Now, July and beginning of August, Leos are sneaky because they would technically be considered a cancer sign. And Queen of Cups, that would make them a Queen of Cups. And Queen of Cups is the sneakiest queen out of all the queens. So that's probably why you think Leos are sneaky because you're probably dealing with a July or beginning of August, Leo. But I'm telling you, the May August, they don't be giving a fuck. <laughs> hey, girl. All right, let's get started. Spirit, what messages do you have for fire signs? What do fire signs need to know? What messages do you have for fire signs? What do fire signs need to know? Give me three more cards for fire signs. Three more cards for fire signs. Give me two more cards for... Damn. Okay, options. <laughs> That's some fire sign shit. Okay, let's get into it. Y'all money gonna do good. I'm just, we gonna start it off with that. Okay. Listen, King of Pentacles. Some of y'all could be dealing with an earth sign. That is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, okay, look. Give me a second, y'all. I'm getting too many storylines and I hate when my mind be going like 100 miles per hour. Um, Alright, um, it's, okay, this one be for two-sided people, because you got the King of Pentacles, the Lover's card, Nine of Pentacles, and a Five of Wands. Alright, so look, some of y'all may be dealing with the Earth sign, or were dealing with the Earth sign, don't really pay attention to the sign, but it's the King of Pentacles, so it's Earth energy. Um, this person is somebody that y'all had mutual feelings for, like, both of y'all felt like y'all was each other's soulmate, right? Deep attraction for one another. Great sexual chemistry. Soulmate energy, okay? Um, but they may have had you in a third-party situation because the lover's car, although, yes, there's a lot of love here, it represents a choice. So it means somebody needs to make a choice between two people. Then you have the nine of pentacles. So the nine of pentacles may... Okay, one or two things. Maybe at one point... Y'all cared about the situation, but now it's just like some of y'all like, I don't give a fuck. You ain't never got to choose me. Oh, shit, I spit. You ain't never got to choose me because with the nine of pentacles, that means like you're a bachelor or a bachelorette. You looking good. Your money is right. People want you. You got options galore. Um, you building up your business. You seeing your finances grow. Some of y'all taking care of y'all body. Y'all changing your physical appearance. Y'all working on y'all mental health. Like... Y'all are doing so many positive things and people see that. So now people are attracted to you. People want you. People are intrigued by you. And then you got the five of ones. So five of ones means that, once again, you have options. And even when it comes to business. So listen, if some of y'all have been considering doing some sort of business that people can book your services or buy whatever you're selling or whatever the case is, do it. Because y'all don't even know that y'all have people waiting for you to do whatever this is you've been contemplating about because you're going to be super booked, okay? I'm telling you, business is about to do really, really great for you, okay? Now, for others of you that were dealing with this King of Pentacles or are dealing with this King of Pentacles and they had a choice to make between you and someone else, I feel like they're becoming single because, like I said, the... Nine of Pentacles can be a bachelor or bachelorette energy. This is someone that is single. But this is also somebody that looks at you as somebody they want around for the long term. This is somebody that looks at you as marriage material. The Nine of Pentacles is basically the Empress. Only dif difference between the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles is the Empress is typically in a relationship or married. Nine of Pentacles is single. So for some of you, your person may be ready to come single. Um, for others of you, that's your energy. 
you are the one that's like, I'm single. I'm living my best life. I ain't going back and forth with you. Mm -mm. I'm living my best. Yeah, y'all living my best life. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. This King of Pentacles is confused about something. Yeah. Um, maybe they're used to being like a player or something. And now if this is y'all showing up in that Nine of Pentacles, they confused like, what the fuck? Like, how are they playing the player? <laughs> and they feeling overwhelmed right now. Or this could be y'all because I did say y'all have options coming in. Both of y'all may have options. I don't fucking know because the King of Pentacles is typically somebody who's very well established, that has money, um, that's very generous, that loves to be a provider. So why wouldn't the King of Pentacles have options? But if y'all showing up as that Nine of Pentacles, it's like you matching their energy. It's like, I don't need you to bring nothing to my table. I could scoop my fucking table up beside yours. Like, what's good? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, Macro. Yeah, kind of. It's been like three, four minutes. Tell me about the lover's card. Why is the lover's card here? Six of swords. Yeah. All right. That's confirmation. Somebody is leaving somebody. It's I feel like that King of Pentacles is becoming single. You see how this person got their bags packed? Somebody is leaving. Somebody is making that choice and somebody is leaving. They packing their bags and they becoming that Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. My favorite card. I tell y'all, I got some good shit coming in y'all career. Nine of Pentacles is clarified by the fucking Will of Fortune and the Six of Wands. Will of Fortune, start that business, apply for that job, go up for that promotion. Luck is on your side. Some of y'all gonna start seeing seven, seven, seven. Mark my words, okay? Um, Six of Wands, you got good news coming in. You got money coming in. You got success coming in recognition victory some of y'all gonna go viral on social media something significant to social media is going to be good for your career okay um y'all gonna make a lot of money off of social media or like i said y'all was ready to start some sort of business or promote something i'm telling you utilize social media okay because your money gonna do good you got the fucking king of pentacles nine of pentacles five of wands will of fortune six of wands bitch it don't get no better than that it just doesn't get no better than that I'm telling you, okay? Um, somebody wants to start showing more attention to you, giving more to a connection. Because I'm telling you, they see you looking good, doing good, and they know you got options. So they like, all right, I got to hurry up and lock fire signs down. <laughs> I got to lock fire signs. Because when I about a fire sign, I don't feel like they go without very long. You understand what I'm saying? Like, fire signs will find somebody instantly and lock in. So this person know like, all right, let me, let me, let me, let me put the little pressure on. Let me get my shit together. Let me get my shit together. Tell me about the five of wands. I booked my readings today. Yay. Tell me about the five of wands. Why is the five of wands here? Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. What? You can, but don't cook it too long. I don't know. I mean, you could just heat it up in a microwave. You just, we just got it. What you put in a refrigerator? Why? If you was going to eat it today. Um, facts, my Leo friend never been single. See, I'm telling you. And even if they say they single, I feel like they always have some fucking body. <laughs> and here, the five of ones is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. So if somebody was dragging their feet, offering you some sort of commitment, they want to have a conversation with you about that. You're going to hear from this person really soon. They just want to put it all out there. Like, let's talk about it. Because you're going to tell them, like, you dragging your feet and I got people dying to be in my presence to wife me up or I don't know what you would say for a man. Um... 
I don't know. Y'all know what the fuck I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, so it's just like, and they know, like, all right, I got to hurry up. I got to figure something out. So somebody's going to have some sort of conversation. But I do feel like, you know, y'all have some good news coming in as well. Um, it's going to be something that you want to hear. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Tell me about the Seven of Cups. Tell me about the Seven of Cups. King of Cups, I'm telling you, this person loves the fuck out of you, but they probably in the past always held back from you. They're not holding back no more. Because they know, like, it's unconditional love. Like, they love you unconditionally. Now, some of you may have two people in your energy because you do have the King of Pentacles and King of Cups. But for others of you, I do kind of feel like this is the same energy, but it may be two people because... You do have the five of wands and the seven of cups here. So that does mean that y'all do have options. Tell me about the six of swords. Why is the six of swords here? Tell me about the six of swords. Why is the six of swords here? Seven of swords. Hmm. Tell me about the seven of swords. Why is it? Chariot. All right, if your person deceived you a lot about something that could have ruined the connection, they're coming back to overcome whatever obstacles prevented y'all from really taking things to the next level or being together or whatever made y'all end things with this person. They're coming back. And I feel like they're coming in fast with this chariot card. For some of you, this person could live at a distance from you. Some of y'all may be ready to get a new car. Some of y'all might be ready to go on a little road trip. Maybe the person lives at a distance. You got to like drive to them somewhere. I don't fucking know. Tell me about the Will of Fortune and the Six of Wands. Why is the Will of Fortune and the Six of Wands here? Eight of Wands. I'm telling you, this person is rushing in. But also, when it comes to your career, whatever you're ready to start, is going to take off faster than you expected. And social media is going to be significant to y'all, okay? Somebody may even hit y'all up on social media. It could be somebody famous, somebody of high status, somebody popular in their community. Excuse me, community, but I feel like y'all might. <laughs> I don't know if I just heard a rapper. Um, and I'm seeing a soccer player in my head. I don't know. Either way, some of y'all got somebody famous that's going to possibly hit y'all up. Of course, that's not for everybody, but some of y'all, yeah. Um, and a few of y'all that I did readings for, y'all mess with a few celebrities. <laughs> Anywho, um... Eight of Wands, yeah, some of y'all ready to travel. Okay, some of y'all ready to travel and, or like I said, this person may have to travel to see you. But no matter what, they're rushing in. They're rushing in. Some of y'all gonna hear from this person late at night. Some of y'all might not answer because I'm hearing last night I didn't even get an answer. I called your phone. There was no reply. I don't know how to fuck this song goes. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. <sighs> Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. You got a celebrity stylist that you have seen? Yeah, something about a celebrity. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Two of Swords. Some of y'all gonna have a decision to make about something. It could be for about two people. It could be whether you're going to take this person back or move on to somebody new. <clears throat> oh, my throat starting to itch. Your throat chakra. Y'all not going to know what to say. This person may have already made a decision. And now you got to make a decision like, oh, my God, do I want them? But you're not going to know what to say because now my throat is fucking itching. Unless y'all, never mind. That was ready to go somewhere else. <laughs> Anywho, tell me about the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Tell me about the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Tower and a Four of Pentacles. Yeah, if somebody's been trying to hold back from you, something is going to happen that they cannot hold back from you any longer. Let me see. Check your DM. All right. 
tell me about the Tower and the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Tower and the Four of Pentacles here? Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I just said they won't be able to hold back for much longer because Eight of Cups in reverse. Somebody feel like it's unfinished business. If somebody, if you broke up with this person, walked away from them, or they ghosted you, whatever the situation may have been, they're coming back. That Tower, something in their life is crashing down. That's sending them back your way. Tell me about the Seven of Swords and the Chariot card. <clears throat> Tell me one thing about a Sagittarius. When you play, you lay. Once we off you, we off you. I don't know about all that. Because I had a Sagittarius that can never leave me alone to the day he died. And I'm going to stand on that. <laughs> and I be telling him how much I hate him. I be cussing him the fuck out. And he will not leave me alone. And he can move on and have a whole new bitch and will still never leave me alone. Like, never. Like, never, ever, 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 ever. And he's probably on here right now. And I can promise you right now. And he's probably laughing. Because, you know, I'm telling the fucking truth. Like, could never. And I mean, and I literally stamped that. So, I don't know about that little statement. I don't know about that little statement. Tell me about the seven of swords and a chariot. Why is the seven of swords and a chariot here? Tell me about the... Where you get that from? Oh, the Chinese flag. Hold on, y'all. Thank you. Ugh. Okay. Well, when it comes to Leo, we are super compatible, like the real power. Well, that's true, too. We also have a boomerang. That's fact. They don't leave us alone, ever. I just started talking to a Sagittarius, too. How was your experience? Girl, he was the biggest hoe I ever met in my entire fucking life. Like, I've never, like, when I say this man lie like a rug, like, you could be standing next to him outside the most sunniest day ever, the clearest blue sky, and you can ask him, what color is the sky? He's going to tell you fucking green. And you'd be like, that's, that's how bad he lie. That's how bad he lie. <laughs> I'm just saying. <sighs> they don't call them terrorists for nothing. Spirit, tell me about the seven of swords and a chariot card. Tell me about the Seven of Swords and a Chariot card. Sun card. I'm telling y'all, y'all got some positive things coming. And I said that when a reading first started. I'm so serious. Like, the most positive and happiest card in the deck. Abundance, prosperity, happiness, relationship. Y'all like, got, y'all, I'm saying this and I'm going to stamp it. Y'all are about to have it all. Y'all are really about to have it all. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Tell me about the Eight of Wands. I would agree, Macro. I don't want to read your comment out loud because people are going to be like, eh, you don't, you know, on YouTube, they be trying to get their feelings. You don't like air signs. You don't like this sign. <sighs> Tell me about Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here? And look, y'all came out. Matter of fact, I'll just take them off. Fuck it. Eight of Wands is clarified by the Three of Swords, the World, and the Queen of Wands. Y'all energy. Somebody is sad because they feel like you messed with other people. They feel like you moved on. They are even wondering if you even want them anymore. Mm. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? Now, that is too many cards. Tell me about the Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? Three of Pentacles and Four of Swords, they want to heal what they fucked up with you. They want to heal it. They want to reconnect. Some of y'all could work with this person. What is the final likely outcome for fire signs? Final likely outcome for fire signs. Final likely outcome for fire signs. Final likely outcome for fire. Justice and temperance. Somebody is saying, can you please be patient with me? Because I'm I promise you I'm gonna make this shit right. I'm going to make this right. Tell me about the temperance and the justice card. Why is the temperance and the justice card here? 
just tell me about that temperance and the justice card. Some of y'all might be ready to buy a, a dog or somebody may gift you a dog. Um, or maybe y'all just dealing with a dog. <laughs> Ten of Swords. Okay, so maybe this person has to leave somebody else or divorce somebody else. Um, and that's probably why they're telling you to be patient with them. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Why is it? Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Page of Wands. Somebody wants to fuck you so bad. They missed the sex between you two. Y'all might receive a booty call tax from them. I feel like some of y'all got good news coming in, too. Tell me about the page of wands. Why is the page of wands here? Some, three of cups. This person is praying that y'all run into each other while y'all out. <laughs> they is praying y'all run into Y'all might run into them. Y'all may really run into them, but they want to reconnect with you. They miss the friendship between you two. They want to reconnect. Tell me about the Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here? Moon card. Yep. Somebody happened that y'all don't see coming. Tell me about the moon card. Y'all know when the sun and moon is out, that means a relationship is near. A shrimp card. Somebody ready to find a shrimp to come towards you. Tell me about the shrimp card. Hermit. They're in hermit mode right now. But I don't feel like it for them much longer. Y'all got three major arcanas. Tell me about the hermit card. Tell me about the hermit card, spirit. Knight of Wands told you they rushing in. They coming out of hermit mode. Judgment card at the bottom of the deck. Y'all got to make a decision. All right, that's what I have for y'all fire signs. Moving on to water signs. you all right so listen because that's song coming back to me so listen maybe y'all think they didn't call you they're saying they called you maybe somebody didn't have service and was just miscommunication or vice versa you called them and they saying you didn't call me because she was like why you didn't call me baby and then he said i called your phone but i didn't get an answer i don't know larissa Bitch, you fell asleep on your appointment today. Well, that's me. D, can you bring me some salt pepper ketchup down here, please? And a water. Remember last time I was eating fries on um, live and they commented on YouTube like that was so ghetto and da 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 da. Try to ask why they called miscommunication. Was that issue today? No way. I fell asleep waiting for you. Bitch, you fell asleep because you don't sleep when you're supposed to be sleeping at night. I don't know what's wrong with your schedule, but bitch, you shouldn't be sleeping during the daytime. You, your ass need to be asleep right now. Post shadow face is over today, girl. Good. Thank you. Wait, go back to Leo's. You're saying I'm more cancer at BH July 31st. You're definitely a cancer. Definitely a cancer. You probably get really emotional. I didn't get an answer, baby. I called your phone. But my pride wouldn't let me die. Oh, now it's 
Okay, maybe they didn't call your phone. Maybe they probably got in the way, so they try to hold back. I did say they was holding back, and remember that tower came, and I was like, but they ain't gonna be able to hold back much longer. Oh, I should have shook it. It was wet. Girl, I'm gonna figure it out with my schedule. I promise. You know I'm gonna figure it out for you. I'm doing good, I'm doing so. Ah, oh, listen to that when I get off of here. I ain't hear that. I'm out to Sundays. Oh, you do get emotional. Yeah, because you really can't see not only y'all. Because what lying you know be crying? <laughs> oh, no. Barbecue sauce with fries. Ew. Only thing I'm ever eating on my fries is ketchup and or occasionally sweet and sour sauce from McDonald's. I, don't touch my fries. It takes a lot for Leo to cry. In public anyways. Now maybe when you're alone by yourself. Well, I'm hearing LL Cool J. When I'm alone in my room, I hear my conscious call. And that's all I know. <laughs> Ranch, who the fuck put ranch on fries? That is disgusting. That is disgusting. Ranch should only be used for carrots and chicken. Sweet curry sauce from McDonald's. I have never tasted that sauce. That might be busting with the nuggets. I might have to try that one day with nuggets. I'm trying to call. But my pride wouldn't let me down. Why didn't you call me, baby? I'm sitting here with this big expression. I didn't get an answer, baby. Thank you, I'm Shira. Cry, I'm a Jalali. I'll never cry in front of anyone. I do cry in my own space. It's rare. Girl, I don't believe you unless your moon sign is a Leo. All right, let's get started. I want to curl up like a child. Yeah, because now they crying because they think you messing with somebody else, right, y'all? Because they missed the opportunity because they let their pride get in the way. Pride will have you writing a check that your ass can't cash every single time. Alright. Spirit, what messages do you have for water signs? What do water signs need to know? What messages do you have for water signs? What do water signs need to know? I cannot get that fucking song out of my head. It's 1.21 a.m. You're making me hungry. Didn't I just tell you to go to bed? Spirit, what messages do you have for water signs? What do water signs need to know? Give me three more cards for water signs. Three more cards for water signs. What the fuck? One more card for water signs. What is going on, water signs? Some of y'all are trying to find the strength to hold back from somebody. Some some of y'all are trying to find the strength to not give in, to not deal with this person again, do not accept their advance, excuse me, their advances. Because you got the emperor and the four of wands in reverse. And the four of swords in reverse. So I feel like I am getting two storylines. <laughs> Um, some of y'all could have broke up with this person because y'all wanted commitment and they couldn't give you a commitment for whatever reason. I don't fucking know. Um, and that shit broke your heart because you like, so all this time you telling me you love me, you telling me this, that, and a third, I'm giving you my little goodies. And then when it's time to get serious, you talking about, oh, no, I, I, I can't commit to you right now. 
So it's like, y'all are tired of that. Y'all tired of giving yourself to people who just don't, can't give you what you want or deserve. So y'all trying to find the shrimp to hold back from them. Um, now for others of you, your person may be trying to find the shrimp to break up with someone or leave a home. Like if they live with somebody or married with to somebody or whatever the case may be, they may be trying to find the shrimp to leave that person. Tell me about the shrimp card. Why is the shrimp card here? King of Wands. Some of y'all messing with a fire signs, Airy Leo, Sagittarius. And it's like this person may really be a good person, but it could be because they're in a fucked up situation right now. So they can't give you what they would love to actually give you. And that's why I said for some of you, they may be trying to find the strength to leave somebody. Tell me about the Emperor in Reverse. Why is the Emperor in Reverse here? Nine of Cups in Reverse. I feel like deep down inside they want to commit to you, but there's another situation maybe preventing them to do from doing that. And they tired of being selfish. So if you just think that this person just selfish, that all they want to do is fuck, and that's it, that's not true. This person actually really genuinely love you. They do. And they would love to be in a relationship, but it's something preventing them from being in that relationship with you. Tell me about the four wands in reverse. Why is the four wands in reverse here? Tell me about the four wands in reverse. Three of swords. Yeah, y'all heartbroken because y'all really want to be in a relationship with this person because y'all love them. But either like their words, actions, or intentions broke your heart or them having you in a third party broke your heart. Tell me about the four swords in reverse. Why is the four swords in reverse here? Tell me about the four swords in reverse. Two of cups. Listen, they feel like nobody compares to you. I'm telling you this person genuinely loves you. And the feelings are mutual. And I think that's why I hurt you so bad because you like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Like, I know you love me. <clears throat> Just like you know I love you. I don't really connect with nobody the way I connect with you. And I know you feel the same about me. So what what the fuck is the issue? What is the issue? Tell me about the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Tell me about the King of Wands. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they can't commit or they trying to get out of another situation. They got to break up with somebody right now. They have got to break up with somebody right now. Tell me about the Nine of Cups in reverse. Why is the Nine of Cups in reverse here? Tell me about the Nine of Cups in reverse. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it's best for y'all to hold back from them right now. Or you may feel like they're holding back for from you but i feel like y'all may need to hold back from them until you really can get what you want because if not you're going to keep getting your heart broken keep fooling around with this person that can't commit to you knowing that you want a damn commitment tell me about the three of swords why is the three of swords here knight of wands some of y'all could have been heartbroken because you know this person was a hoe and they was fucking off and they love attention from other people and they don't have a fucking faithful bone in their body child anywho they're coming in fast if you haven't been in communication with this person they rushing in some of y'all they may live at a distance from y'all some of y'all might be ready to travel some of y'all might be like you know what fucking i'm tired of being sad i'm tired of sitting in the house and crying i'm ready to book me a fucking trip tell me about the two of cups why is the two of cups here temperance they're asking you to be patient with them because they do want to reconnect with you. I'm telling you, this person really loves you. I'm not bullshitting y'all. I would tell you if they didn't love y'all. I would be like, they don't fucking love you. <laughs> and y'all like they sex. Y'all really like they sex. Ooh. Some of y'all be in the same room with the person that they mess with. Because I'm hearing 
escape. Um, I like being in the same room with you and your girlfriend. The fact that she don't know, that really turns me on. She'll never guess in a million years that we got this thing going. Mm. Y'all ain't shit for that. <laughs> Y'all ain't shit for that. Mm-mm-mm. Talk about this independent pools in reverse. Talk about this independent pools in reverse. Star card. I'm telling you, they see a future with you. They hopeful. I'm letting you know right now. They feel like down the line, we're going to be together. I'm going to figure this shit out one day, somehow, some way. I don't know, but I'm going to figure it out. And they watch you a lot on social media. They probably feel like you're their soulmate. I'm telling you. They just got to leave this person alone. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, this person just be dragging their feet. But the thing is, they look at you as marriage material. And if you wonder if they're coming back, they're fucking coming back. They're just slow to take action. But I kind of feel like it's going to speed it up because you got the Knight of Wands here. Thank you, Nikki, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Fuck. Oh, hold on, y'all. All right. World card. Um. Yeah, some of y'all really are ready to travel. I'm telling y'all, y'all really ready to travel. But y'all have a lot of big changes ready to come up in y'all life. I'm telling you right now, and I feel like they're positive changes. Tell me about the temperance. Why is the temperance here? Thank you, Nicole, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. Tell me about the temperance. Why is the temperance here? Seven of Cups. They're confused and they're feeling overwhelmed having to make some decision between you and someone else. Tell me about the star card. Why is the star card here? Will of Fortune in reverse. Something getting delayed. Something is getting delayed. Because they're not doing what the fuck they're supposed to do. They scared to make that decision. They scared to cut somebody off for whatever reason. Tell me about this Will of Fortune in reverse. All right, hold on. Too many cards. Hold up. Tell me about the Will of Fortune in reverse. Why is the Will of Fortune? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, for some of y'all, it was just a friends with benefits situation, but they're coming back to reconnect with y'all. Some of y'all can benefit from going to therapy. I feel like this person fucking your head up. And y'all don't want to admit it, but they fucking your head up and they making y'all depressed and sad. You going out sad behind this fucking person. Go to fuck to therapy, y'all. Like, I'm not playing. Stop letting this person fuck with your head. Like, for real. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Tower. Something about to come crashing down. Tell me about the tower. Why is the tower here? Devil in a hermit card. So... Somebody is coming, whoever this fucking devil is, if they've been quiet or distant, they're coming out of hermit mode. They're coming back. Because something might be going on in their life and they feel like they need to talk to you. Like, maybe y'all give them, like, a peace of mind. Um, yeah, I feel like when they with you, they get some sort of peace of mind. But they still toxic. I'm telling y'all, y'all got this toxic connection. Tell me about this devil card. Why is the devil card here? Hey, man. It's not telling me nothing. Tell me about this devil card, Spirit. Why is the devil? Five of Wands. They like messing with other people. I'm telling you. They're how I told y'all that earlier. <laughs> and for whatever reason, I feel like they get off on arguing with you, which is so weird. Something about arguing with you turns this fucking person on. Or vice versa. It turns you on when y'all argue. Maybe y'all cause little dumb arguments. I don't know. I'm hearing the Ashanti song. When we make up, so baby... Can we make up? I know this is kind of crazy, but baby, I want to make up. I don't know if I can shake you, babe. Yeah, y'all addicted to each other. 
Tell me about the world card. Why is the world card here? Queen of Cups, y'all energy. Y'all love the fuck out of them. Never gonna stop loving them. So what y'all gonna do about it? Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Y'all pouring too much love into them and they ain't really pouring it back. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Two of Pentacles in reverse. This person is struggling with making a decision, y'all. I'm telling you. I know this one sound weird, but I like when my fries get cold. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for waters? I, that, that, you are not getting under my fries. Get out. Get. I know I'm not playing. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for water signs? You like your fries crispy? I don't really mind it. Crispy, not crispy. Just, I don't know. I'm weird when it comes to fries. Lovers and a magician. Y'all are manifesting for them to leave this other person. Y'all are manifesting or doing spell work for them to leave this other person. And once again, just like I said with air signs, I have gotten an overwhelming amount of orders for third-party spell removals that I'm still trying to catch up on. Y'all are manifesting or doing spell work for them to leave this third party because the lover's card is all about a choice. And at the end of the day, like I said, y'all both love each other. The feelings are mutual. Like, whoever they fucking with really don't compare to you, but for whatever reason, they feel like they can't leave that person alone. So y'all like, you know what? Let me give you a little push. <laughs> ah, I don't know if I can shake you, babe. What's the rest of the lyrics, y'all? Um... I don't know. Fuck, I can't remember. Tell me about the lover's card and the magician. Why is the lover's card and the magician here? Eight of cups in reverse. They coming back. They coming back. That's why I'm here and break up to make up. They coming back. Unfinished business. Tell me about the eight of cups in reverse. Why is the eight of cups in reverse here? Six of swords. Oh, they might end up leaving that person. Temperance card did tell you to have patience. They're going to end up leaving that hoe. But then they're going to become your hoe. And then y'all might go through the same shit. The, other, the third party going through because at the end of the day, they're a hoe. They try to as the knight of ones and the devil. They are a hoe. So even if y'all manifesting this person to leave the third party, and if y'all manifesting this person to be in a relationship with y'all, please be mindful that they're showing up as the devil and, and the knight of wands. A person that's a hoe with great sex that love outside. So pick your pick your poison. Oh, child. Tell me about the six of swords. Why is the six of swords here? I want him to leave her so I can leave him. Girl, stop lying. We don't we don't we don't lie on this channel, okay? Because you're not gonna leave him. You really do. The only part about that statement you just made is you want him to leave her. And you gonna put up with his bullshit for a while. I I can tell you that right now. Cause you gonna feel like you won, but that man move. He gonna stress you the fuck out. I don't give a fuck how much love it is. Yeah, look, King of Swords and Higher Fent. Somebody getting a divorce or breaking up. I'm telling you right now, they're gonna leave that person. You just gotta have patience. It's not gonna happen overnight, but they're gonna leave. They're gonna make a decision. So you gonna get your wish fulfillment. Your spell gonna come true. But just remember who you dealing with. Uh how. You fucking with me, you fucking with a P-I-M-P. I don't care what they heard about me. A bitch can't get a dollar out of me. It's like, I'm sorry, that's not funny. <laughs> My bad, y'all. If it make y'all feel anybody, I used to deal with a hoe too. And I love that hoe. Love that hoe, love the got that hoe. So, I ain't judging. I'm just warning y'all. I don't give a fuck. We can be too old to have a bitch. I do not care. Girl, you don't pretend like that was a joke. Who gives a fuck if somebody judge you? Who gives a fuck if I judge you? Who cares? Bitch, I done dated a hoe. Like, you don't gotta backtrack. 
stand on that shit. If you want that hoe, stay with that hoe. Every, they fucking fall but probably a hoe while they fucking laughing at you. Fuck them. Like, girl, don't be backtracking when you don't ever backpedal. You say some shit, stand on that shit. Give a fuck what somebody say if they laughing at you. And who gives a fuck what I say? Because I'm going to always talk shit. You'd be surprised what people go through and put up with. Talking about you joking. But you're not joking and that's okay if you're not joking. No, for real, because I don't like when people back battle. Like, that's your hoe, love your hoe. Who gives a fuck? Because I don't care. Somebody can judge me all they want. I would cuss them in they fucking my because you're not going to tell me who I can and cannot deal with. Because somebody got one time to call me dumb, and I'm going to go in on a mother because, bitch, can't nobody be more dumber than, than your mother. Go ahead. So I'm telling you right now. I wish somebody would call me fucking dumb. And your mother probably didn't think with your cheating ass for over all these years. Like, what? So, girl, don't even worry about this thing. Don't worry about it. make her get off of here what did y'all say to her i'm gonna feel like going back through these comments don't be bullying nobody on this fucking chat no for real it's your life it's like that song think what you want to think smoke what you want to smoke girl i don't know that fucking song of course it's going on youtube are you still here? Oh, I was ready to say, you better not let them bitches make you leave over this fucking shit. It was you. Oh, it was me. <laughs> Why are these starting stuff and blaming it on y'all? <laughs> One thing I'm going to do is stir the pot and blame it on y'all. But you know what? As long as y'all know. As long as y'all know. As long as y'all know. It is what it is. But damn, y'all could have took the fucking charge. Talking about it was you. It was you. I don't give a fuck. I, be, I really don't care. Like, I would be the first to be like, bitch, I know my man a hoe. Like, actually, I'm surprised she ain't on here tonight because she's probably being sneaky somewhere. One day we were somewhere. I'm not going to say y'all where we at because somebody's going to put two and two together. But whatever. I was like, I bet my man fucking that bitch right there. <laughs> Cause when you know, you know, like, bitch, you just know when you're a nigga. Like, you know when somebody's a hoe. I don't be giving a fuck. I do not be here. Cause y'all don't gotta love him. I do. And I don't give a fuck. Cause y'all can never make me hate my man. Do you? I live too much. That's how I had a baby. Now, baby, I ain't that dumb. Like, I don't want to have a baby by the hoe. I don't know. If he a rich hoe, I probably would. If it's a rich hoe, I probably would. <laughs> Especially if I can get a nanny. Mm -hmm. And he gotta give me money before I decide to keep it to make sure I can get my body done after. Because, bitch, I'm not having no big dick. Sheree gonna chew you up. She ain't on here, so it don't matter. <laughs> my air sign is a good boyfriend, but he a hoe. I be suffering in silence. Girl, see, sometimes they, they could be really, really good, but they just a hoe. You need 26,000 this month. That's the odd number. Fuck, you need 26,000 before you drive my house? I seriously look forward to your lives because it's, it's hanging with my peeps. Oh, y'all, it's my man, you think? I block him like once a month. Oh, yeah, I would never. I'm so glad you reminded me of that. I do remember when Sheree Bitch has told that man her name was Harriet. Like, bitch, who would name their fucking child Harriet? I ain't gonna lie. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I could, and no, I'm not racist, so white people do not get offended. But I could see 
a white lady naming their fucking daughter Harriet in 2024. I, I could really see it. Like, I could really see it. Harriet, Harriet, come here. Harriet. <laughs> I can see it. I'm telling you, I can see it. But you're reading, I look like no fucking Harriet. Y'all get off of my blessings. Yes, let him get his 26000 My uncle married her, Harriet. You heard what you said, your uncle, which means that they're at a particular age. I'm talking about a certain age group name should not be no fucking Harriet. That's what happened when two old people have a baby. Yeah. Hazel is way better than Harriet. You can't even compare the two. Harriet freed the slaves. You ain't never hear a fucking slave named Hazel. Girl, Hazel come and free them slaves tonight. No. Harriet freed slaves. That's the old ass fucking name. Hazel was not that old. Like Rosa. Harriet. Who the fuck would name somebody that right now? bring this up about her telling that man her name was Harriet. I forgot all about that. I name it I know a new boy named Pearl and her fucking mother should be slapped. Huh. Why would you name a baby in 2024 Pearl? I used to work with this old lady when I was like 18 or 19, and back then she had to be all of it probably almost 70. Her name was Pearl. And she always told me I didn't know how to pronounce it right. I think that she used to tell me I saw ghetto. I really feel like she wanted to tell me that. But she kept saying it's, well, I don't know how to pronounce this. Because clearly she said I ain't never pronounced it right. But, mm. Not Pearl is Mr. Crab's daughter. Oh, let me get started because y'all didn't. I don't feel like arguing back with people on YouTube because I can't say what I want to say like I can on YouTube. I mean, on Instagram, YouTube won't let me send my comments when I try to get real smart. My two-year-old name is Lucille. Bitch, bye. And I don't care if that's your grandmother name, your great-grandmother name. You could have made that her middle name or something. Like, why would you do that to that little girl? Let me guys, y'all call her Lucy. <laughs> what? Bitch, if you call that little girl... Call her. Y'all might have to come out with a nickname. It is not too late to change her name. It is really not too late to change her name. Like, why would you do that to that child? Like, why would you do that to that child? Like, I'm not getting it. Lucille. Bitch, this is not no motherfucking Lucy and Ricardo. I love Lucy. I bet you call her Lucy, don't you? Mm -mm. It's her middle name. Oh, I was ready to say. I know you didn't give her that for her first name. That's rude. What's rude? Because I told her don't name her child that. Listen, only one Ember. Let me tell you how this chat works. Nobody takes what I say rude. And if you do, then this is not the lie for you, okay? That lady is not offended. If she was offended, she would not have wrote that in the chat. She has been on this chat before, so she already know how we get down. So do not be telling me something that's fucking rude when we all on here kiki and having a good time. You see, everybody in this chat is putting all these old fucking names in here. So how do you take that as being rude? If she felt some type of way, then she would have commented, it's her fucking child. No, her first name is... Lori Nate, Lori Nate. Girl, I don't know how to pronounce that. What the fuck that say? You might. <sighs> Talking about I'm rude. That's rude. You want to know what else is fucking rude? It's like, I'm not going to get started today. When my mother named me Yasmin, I know she was funny. I like that name, though. That's cute. Y'all know.
know, I used to want my name to be Jasmine because I always feel like I look like a Jasmine. Hold on, y'all. be a long fucking reading and youtube don't be trying to let me post it for two hours or more <clears throat> y'all want to know my churn name it is a bunch of them though dear we do not have time for me to be naming nine kids in this chat <laughs> you do look like i'm jasmine thank you i don't know why the fuck my mother and father try to be retarded and name me some fucking shawty like that shit is dumb and ugly to me and every time i go somewhere they be like are you nigerian bitch no All right, for real, let's get started, y'all, because we didn't took almost an hour intermission. <sighs> now it's going to take two days to write them. Do not, I don't even want to know what y'all kids' name is, but I'm kind of curious. Just give me one. <laughs> it better not be something long and ghetto, because I'm going to cut y'all out, because what I don't know. Were you made to shout a yes, bitch? Yes. I'm pretty, either her or probably Keith Sweat, but they couldn't name me Keep Sweat, so I guess it had to be Shawty or Barry White. They couldn't name me that either. Huh? What? Yeah, Dante. Uh, and you nosy. You was all the way upstairs. Yeah, but you sound like you was outside. I was outside. Huh? I was outside. Well, how was I really nosy? The whole neighborhood heard. The whole All right. <laughs> Anywho, <sighs> Spirit, let's get started, Earth Signs. It's been like an hour intermission. <clears throat> Y'all, you just leave me out like that. <laughs> All right. You forgot to go to the coffee shop today. That's why now you ain't gonna get your man. All right, Spirit, what messages do you have for Earth Signs? What do Earth Signs need to know? What messages? Malaya, Aaron, Sasha, Avery, Avea, Zariel, Arani, DJ, Araya, Denaya, Dania. D oh, that was so normal. Oh, that reminded me of the DMX song. It was Brenda, Lisa, Kanisha. Mm -mm. Sight. Sorry. Anywho. <clears throat> Sorry, give me three more cards for Earth Signs. What do Earth Signs need to know? Three more cards for Earth Signs. What do Earth Signs need to know? <laughs> give me two more cards for Earth Signs. What do Earth Signs need to know? I forgot I had the best. Do you know why in the in the whole United States of America? How the fuck you get nine kids out of somebody? She must got that. Mm. <sighs> Give me one more card for Earth signs. What do Earth signs need to know? All right. Page of Pentacles. So. That great A B thing. <laughs> All right, Page of Pentacles. I feel like some of y'all manifest. Uh, some of y'all manifestations is coming in. Um, some of y'all need to take a class or learn a new skill that's gonna make y'all a lot of money in the long run. Okay, or y'all need to brush up on a skill or something that you already have. Um, also. Y'all may receive a message from somebody. It could be like an apology. Somebody may also buy you a gift too. I don't know. Um, then you got the justice card. So yeah, somebody want to make something right with you. Because I already said somebody want to apologize. So somebody want to balance the scales out and make something right. Um, then you got the ace of pentacles. So 
new opportunities are coming in, okay? If y'all stress, I promise this time next year, you want to be in a far better position. Some of y'all already transitioned a new way of making money. Um, somebody, okay, for some of you, you may meet somebody new, but for others of you, there may be somebody that's like, you know what, let's just leave the past in the past and start brand new. Like, I'm tired. I'm fucking tired. Then you got the three of wands. So if you're wondering if somebody coming back, yes. If you're trying to expand like career or travel or whatever you're trying to do, it's going to happen for you. Like your manifestations are coming in. Just be patient. Tell me about the page of pentacles. Why is the page of ace of wands? Y'all got new love coming in. Y'all definitely got new love. And if it's not new love, whoever this person that you may get a message from or an apology from, they're trying to reignite this uh, spark in y'all connection and take you to pound town. But they do want to bring the passion back, though. They want to bring the passion back between you two. Okay? But like I said, some of y'all may have a new person coming in as well. Tell me about the justice card. Why is the justice card here? Queen of Swords, somebody may be getting a divorce. Somebody might be cutting somebody off. Um, so for some of you, if this person come back, y'all may decide that y'all don't want them. Y'all might be like, okay, I'm ready to end this. Um, or if your person has somebody else, maybe they're leaving somebody. I don't know, but some of y'all messing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And um, I don't know, somebody cutting somebody off. That's now, some of y'all are meant to do something in tech or like finance or surgeon or something like that. Um, y'all are meant to be something of high status. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Star card. Y'all have good things coming in. Y'all have new opportunities coming in. Some of y'all are meant to do something with your hands. So like I was saying, if it is tech, I guess because that would be y'all on a computer. Or it could be like a spiritual business, Reiki. It could be something in the public eye. Um, but I'm telling y'all, y'all going to find a new way to get to that bag and, and make some money. And it's going to be successful for you. When it comes to love, some of y'all going to get a new chance. Like say if some of y'all been, some if some of y'all are married and that's getting a divorce, Maybe y'all gonna try to fight for that and be like, no, I'm not giving this up. Like, come on, I'm hopeful. Come on, let, let, let's make this work. I don't know. Some of y'all might leave that person and go towards somebody else. I don't fucking know. Tell me about the three of wands. Why is the three of wands here? Nine of swords. There's something that you're in your head about. It's something, whatever you're manifesting has you up late at night. Something or someone is on your mind. Late at night in the wee hours of the morning, there's something that you think about constantly that activates your anxiety. And I don't know if it's because it's something that you really want, that you feel like you can't have, maybe like a forbidden fruit. I don't fucking know. Well, this may be your person. But something is keeping you up late at night. And it has something to do with whatever you're manifesting. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Here we go with this empress. Let me tell y'all something. Whoever this ace of wands is that y'all may potentially have sex with, be careful because you will get pregnant or you will get somebody pregnant. So be very careful. But y'all are ready to tap into your creative bag, okay? Y'all are ready to give birth to a new business. Like I said, y'all gonna learn a new skill or expand on a skill that y'all already have. And y'all going to turn that into a business. And it's going to be very successful. Y'all have abundance coming in. Some of y'all have a relationship coming in. Or, like I said, some of y'all might fight for the relationship that you're already in. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? All right, take all my cards. Tell me about the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen... Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, somebody is leaving somebody. There's already be a broken home. 
Maybe that's what some of y'all manifesting. <laughs> um, that's funny. He said the forbidden fruit. He says to me, he bit Evel and haven't been able to leave since. He a Leo. I know that's right, thing. But yeah, justice, queen of swords, that could represent divorce or a breakup. And then you got the ten of cups in reverse. Somebody is leaving a home. The, the family about to be broken. Oh, I just heard nobody wins when a family feud. Tell me about this star card. Why is the star card here? Death, four swords, four cups. Listen, somebody is ending something, right? And then they're going to have to heal from it. So give them a minute. So if you feel like somebody is holding back from you, it's just because they're going through something right now. They're breaking up. Or if you're the person that's going through and breaking up with somebody and you might be in distance from your friends, your family, or other people, just still take some time to yourself because there's some healing that needs to take place. Um, but somebody wants to talk to you so badly, but they are going through some sort of ending in their life, whether it's a career or a relationship, because it could be a career. It doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship. Um, but that's why they're holding back from you. And it's like they want to tell you, but they don't want to tell you. So it's like they haven't reached out just yet, but it's getting harder and harder for them not to reach out to you. Tell me about the nine of swords. Why is the nine of swords here? I'm so pissed he don't reply sometimes and BMs. I don't know what BMs mean, but somebody got one time not to reply to me and I will die on a hill alone before I ever fucking contact them again. At that point, they will always have to contact me because what the fuck do you mean sometimes you don't reply? After that one time, but you should have never hit, hit them again. Teach them a lesson. Make them chase. Men love to chase anyways. Stop, stop reaching out. Because when he see you don't care, then he gonna start caring. Uh-uh. Tell me about the nine of swords. Why is the nine of swords here? Tell me about the nine of swords. Why is the nine of swords here? Not you black people. That's too many cards. Tell me about the nine of swords. Why is the nine of swords here? Ace of swords and a five of swords. Yeah, it's time for y'all to have a conversation with this person. They feel it too. Because they sabotage a lot. I match energy. I stop caring too. This person sabotages a lot. This could be somebody y'all in conflict with, y'all be arguing with. I don't I don't know, but there is some sort of conversation that needs to be had. Like, what are we doing? Where's this relationship going? Can we fix it or should we just let it go? Like, why do you keep holding back? Like, what are you going through? Like, talk to me. Like, what's good? And at the end of the day, I feel like both of y'all are stressing out over not talking to each other or not being on good <clears throat> terms with each other. Tell me about the Empress. What? Empress is clarified by the King of Pentacles. Listen. Y'all have success coming in when it comes to your career. But I feel like some of y'all going to end up with somebody that you could really build with. Somebody that could <clears throat> help take you to the next level. I'm hearing Jeezy song, be my backbone. Every nigga need a spine. So, yeah, it's like some of y'all just need that person who you could bounce ideas off of that making whole shit down while you doing other things. Like, maybe if you're going back to school or something like that. Like, just hold me down because when I get right, I got us. Literally, that's what I'm hearing. Like, just bear with me. Like, I might be fucked up right now, but when I get right, I got us. And I'm hearing it again. Be my backbone. Every nigga need a spine. Could it be a mentor? Could what be a mentor? Tell me about the Ten of Cups in reverse. Why is the Ten of Cups in reverse here? Tell me about the Ten of Cups in reverse. Tell me about the Ten of Cups in reverse. Sun card in reverse. Yeah, I feel like something is ending or something is getting delayed. But I really feel like for some of y'all, something is ending. But it's not going to be a bad ending. It's like something that needs to end. So, like I said, maybe somebody needs to end something in order to be with y'all. I don't know. I don't know. See, propel success in regards to... I mean, typically the higher fan would say that you need a mentor. But, I mean, you may. If you feel like you need a mentor, then that means you need a mentor. Like, you don't got to ask me that question. Because if you brought it up, that means you know you need a mentor. And that's something that you've probably been wanting for a minute. <clears throat> Tell 
Tell me about these Four of Swords death card and the Four of Cups. Six of Cups in reverse. I'm telling you, somebody is coming back. They cannot stop um, thinking about Audrey. They said they can't stop missing you. So, yeah, they can't stop missing you. They feel so connected to you. They feel like you're their soulmate. They're coming back. Somebody may be leaving a family. I'm telling you to be with y'all. I'm telling y'all. Somebody is coming back because it's too much love between the two of you to let it go. And for others of you, some of y'all is <clears throat> finding it hard to move on because you keep holding on to this person from the fucking past. How you gonna move forward if you keep dwelling in the past? So we're talking about the Ace of Swords and the Five of Swords. Tell me about the Ace of Swords and the Five of Swords. Devil in reverse. What do I say? I said this person wants to have a conversation about always sabotaging, about what's next. They don't want to be toxic no more. They ready to have this conversation. They don't want to be. They're tired of fucking up. Because they know at the end of the day, they need you. They know that y'all are better together than apart. They know that they can really build with you. They know that they can take their life to the next level with you. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Seven of Swords. Tell me about the Seven of Swords here. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Oops, too many cards. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Chariot card. Whatever your person lied to you about, deceived you about, or whatever the case may be, they want to really make it right. They're rushing in. Some of you could live at a distance, like a driving distance from this person. doesn't necessarily have to be, but they want to come in and make some shit right because I feel like they deceived you in some type of way. But when they come back, just be careful, though. Let me see. Tell me about the chariot card. Tell me about the chariot card. Why is it... Fool in reverse. Yeah, y'all gotta be careful. Something. Oh, shit. Tell me about the fool in reverse. Two of cups. Yeah, something in the between y'all, but this person is so in love with you, but you're in love with them too. And some of y'all getting hopeless, like, this shit might not happen, but it's too much love for you not to try or, or for them not to try. Tell me about the sun in reverse. Why is the sun in reverse here? Page of swords. This person is talking the fuck out of you. <laughs> they keeping tabs on you. They want to talk to you. I'm telling you. It's getting harder and harder. And they want you to call them. Some of y'all might make the decision to reach out to them. Tell me about the six of cups in reverse. Why is the six of cups in reverse? God damn it. Look, six of swords in reverse and five of pentacles. Is that, if this person ghosted you, rejected you, made you feel abandoned, they're coming back because they feel like it's unfinished business between the two of you. Tell me about the devil in reverse. Why is the devil in reverse here? Nine of pentacles. I think for some of you, if y'all were dealing with somebody that was in a relationship or lied to you about being single, whatever the case may be, they may reveal to you that they're single now. If that's not the case, um... Some of y'all may decide to become single because you just feel like whatever situation y'all in right now is just toxic as fuck. Or y'all may just like, I gotta focus on my career. I gotta get my money up. I gotta get my money up. Tell me about the two of cups. Why is the two of cups here? Tell me about the two of cups. Wands in reverse, Knight of Wands in reverse, Queen of Wands in reverse. I mean, shit, Queen of Wands in the upright. Listen, that's a lot of fucking fire energy. Y'all are definitely dealing with a fire sign. Definitely dealing with a fire sign, some of y'all. Um, some of y'all may not like the attention that your person gets from other people. And I feel like they know that. And they're like, okay, I'm willing to tone it down some. I'm willing to scale back, but you got to meet me halfway. And that's not going to be for everybody. Um, 
And if you were dealing with somebody that's a hoe, they don't want to be a hoe no more. <laughs> they want to do right. They want to, but this is somebody you have some really, really, really disgusting sex with. <laughs> Tell me about the page of swords. Why is the page of swords here? Tell me about the page of swords. Page of Cups. Y'all getting so many pages, and pages represent communication. Somebody wants to talk to you so badly. So either some of y'all gonna give in and send a message, or they gonna give in and send a message. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Knight of Cups and Eight of Cups. I just said, somebody becoming single. Somebody walking away from somebody coming to give you a love offer. They like, fuck it. I'm going to just take my chances and see where this may go. I'm going to try to do right. I'm going to try not to be a hoe no more and just take my chances with this. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Earth signs? Final likely outcome for Earth signs. Girl, I'm not hosting this tonight. Final likely outcome for Earth signs. Oh, my God. Heavy fire energy in here. King of Wands in reverse, Nine of Wands in the Lovers card. Yeah, I feel like somebody is making a decision to become single to leave somebody because the King of Wands is typically somebody that is settled down, that's in a relationship, whatever. In reverse, he's not. Nine of Wands, he's not letting you go or she's not letting you go. Lovers card, somebody's going to make a decision between two people, okay? Tell me about this Lovers card. Why is the Lovers card here? Tell me about the lover's car. Why is the lover's car here? Girl, you getting a bath tonight. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't reach it. Tell me about the lover's car. Why is the lover's car here? Three of cops. They want to reconnect with you. I'm telling you. Somebody miss you. Y'all might run into this person while you out somewhere. <sighs> Tell me about the king of wands in reverse. Three of pentacles. Once again, somebody wants to reconnect with you. This could be somebody you work with. doesn't necessarily have to be. Or this could be somebody that had you in a friends with benefits situation. Tell me about the three of pentacles. Ace of cups. Somebody coming in with a love offer, I'm telling you. Y'all might potentially have somebody new coming in as well. But whoever this is loves the fuck out of you, whether they've ever told you or not. And they may have not told you because the King of Cups is, oh shit, the King of Cups is somebody that holds back their emotions. Because so they can be very manipulative at times. Um, So, yeah, I don't know. That's what I have for y'all, Earth Signs. I'm down for a one night stand. I can, mm, any way that I can, because I ain't your man. Somebody feels like even if they can't have you to themselves, they gonna get you. They'll take you however you give it, get it to them. Or maybe that's your energy. Thank you. Sex cards. Y'all should have said that. I can't do it now because I ain't do the rest of the signs. post my subscriber reading hopefully it lets me because i've been recorded it but it was acting stupid i wish y'all would have gave me a thing because i would come back on because i kind of want to do one more reading because this is kind of fun and i'm not tired yet but that's what i have for y'all so Oh, yeah, I do got to get my stuff done. All right, y'all. Bye.